The next thing we're going to teach the horse is to back off or go backwards away from us, as you can see Rumby demonstrating here. We start by teaching the horse to step backwards in response to pressure on the halter and lead rope. Hold the lead rope right up near the clip and stand facing your horse. Begin to push gently backwards, straight towards the horse. Gradually increase the pressure on the lead rope until the horse steps backwards. As soon as they step back, click, release the pressure on the rope and give them a treat. It will help to keep your elbow straight as this will ensure you are pushing straight backwards. Repeat the process, starting with a very light backwards pressure and gradually increasing it until the horse steps back. As soon as they step back, click, release and give them a treat. Remember to always wait for the horse to look away a little bit before you give them the treat. If the horse is really dull and they won't step back even with quite firm pressure, keep the pressure on the rope and at the same time tap them on the chest with the end of the lead rope. As soon as the horse even leans backwards, click, release and treat. Remember you are shaping the behaviour, so just reward the slightest try to begin with. The horse will soon be stepping backwards in response to a very light pressure cue on the halter. You can then start to increase the number of steps, so that the horse has to do two steps to earn a click and treat. Make sure that you release the pressure a little bit after each step, so the horse knows that it did the right thing, you just want another step. Click and treat for the second step. Try to make sure that you click when the horse's foot is actually in the air and moving backwards, not once they've stopped and they're standing still. Remember you're marking that moment when the horse's foot is actually moving backwards. Imagine you're taking a photo of it with its foot in the air. You can then progress to asking for three steps backwards. Remember to clearly release the pressure in between each step. Repeat the process, gradually getting the horse to do more and more steps backwards to earn the click and treat. When the horse is really good at this and they can go backwards for as far as you like in response to a very light pressure cue, you could then add in other criteria such as speed and wait till you get a slightly faster step and click for that. Stepping backwards in response to pressure is probably one of the most important behaviours you can teach a horse. Because backwards is the same cue we use to stop them when they're actually going forwards. So by training the horse to go backwards, you're also teaching them to stop. And since the horse's natural inclination whenever they get a fright is to run forwards, it's very important to teach them to stop and go backwards. When the horse is really responding well to stepping back in response to a very light pressure cue, they'll start to anticipate a little bit and may offer to step back on their own. You can click and treat for stepping back. And this also means you're ready to start to teach the horse to respond to a visual cue. First of all, use your body language as part of the visual cue. Stand up tall and wave your finger at the horse and then step in and use the pressure cue to get the horse to go backwards. As soon as they step back, click and give them a treat. Soon they'll be backing up in response to the visual cue alone. Remember that if they don't respond to the visual cue, always step in and get them to respond to the pressure cue. You can then start to increase the number of steps the horse has to do in response to a visual cue. So here the horse has to do two steps to earn a click and treat. Click while the horse is still moving backwards while its foot is in the air and then walk to the horse and give them a treat. It's important to note that you walk to the horse to give them the treat. They don't walk back to you to get the treat. And this is part of teaching the horse about being polite around food and it stops them getting pushy. So now you're able to back the horse away from you any time you need to. You could then use your body language and energy to create a little more energy in the horse and click and treat for a faster step. In this way you can begin to get the horse to go backwards more quickly. Now that the horse understands that pressure on the top of its nose means go backwards, you could also use rhythmic pressure to send a wave down the lead rope as another way to get the horse to go backwards. You would start with a light pressure cue, just rhythmically bumping the lead rope and gradually increase it until the horse steps back. When they do, click, release and treat. I find that you don't need to use this way so much if the horse has already learned to respond to a visual cue, but it can be helpful if the horse is persistently stepping forwards to try and get the treats off you instead of waiting for you to come to them to give them the treats. Here is another young horse learning to back off.
Try to use a high rate of repetition so that you're getting lots of behaviours and clicks per minute. It can help to have a little mantra in your head while you're working on this. Backwards, click, look away, treat. Backwards, click, look away, treat. Backwards, click, look away, treat. They don't have to look away a long way, just as long as they're not turning towards you to get the treat. Make sure you do lots of repetitions at each stage so that you really consolidate the behaviour before you raise the criteria and ask for more. With patience, lots of repetitions and gradual shaping, your horse will soon be able to go back lots of steps in response to a very light pressure cue on the halter. You can then begin to add your visual cue immediately before giving the pressure cue on the halter. When the horse is responding to the visual cue, you can then gradually increase the number of steps the horse has to go backwards in response to the visual cue to earn the click in the treat. By teaching this simple exercise, you will be able to have the horse back off instead of mugging you, crowding you or pushing on you. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing many more with you. Thanks for watching.